What's great about Google Slides is that you can collaborate and be on the same Google Slides at the same time, which makes it a great platform for playing games collaboratively with people who may not be in the same room as you are. So let's take a look at alicekeeler.com slash shut the box. So if you go to alicekeeler.com slash shut the box, it allows you to play the shut the box game, but in Google Slides, where you will notice that it's asked you to make a copy. Now you will need to wait for the code to load. So what you're looking for is the shut the box menu to show up up here in the corner where it says shut the box next to the help menu. It can take about a minute for that to load. But again, I want to play shut the box with someone. So this is what's great about Google Slides is I come over to the share button and I'm going to click on share. And then what I want to do is I want to put the email address of the person that I want to play with into the share settings of Google Slides. So just enter their email and give them editor access. So I'm going to send. Now where is this person going to find the Google Slides for us to play this shut the box game together? So they go to Google Drive and on the left hand side you're going to see where it says shared with me and they're going to be able to easily open up and find this Google Slides that I've shared. So let's see if they have found it. Look at that. I'm now in the same Google Slides at the same time. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the shut the box menu. Again, it's right next to the help menu. And under shut the box, you're going to be able to add pieces. Now I have coded this myself. I have not submitted it to Google, which is true for many of my add-ons and things that I've created. So they give you a warning that lets you know that it has not been authorized or submitted to Google. That's correct. I didn't do that. So whenever you see that, you should always ask, do you know who did it? Do you trust them? So if you trust me, go ahead and authorize. So you're going to click continue. Once you have authorized the add-on, when you added the pieces, you should see the pieces in the box. And so the way this works is you're going to take turns. So I'm going to go first and see what my score is. You're going to need to roll dice. And so up in the shut the box, I've actually added the ability to roll either one or two dice. Now here is the rule. If there is a seven, eight, or nine still in the box, then you must roll two. If the seven, eight, or nine is gone, then you can choose to roll one die. So obviously since I'm going first here, and this is my first roll, the seven, eight, and nine is there. So I'm going to go and roll two dice. So it says that I rolled a three and a six. And the way that this works is you're looking for the sum. So three plus six is nine. So I have all these tiles, one through nine, and I have to do any combination of summing those to get the sum of the dice. So that means I could do nine. I could remove the nine tile. I could also do eight and two. That would give me, excuse me, eight and one would give me nine. Seven and two would give me nine. 6 and 3 would give me 9, and 5 and 4 would give me 9. So I can do any of those options and how I'm going to play. So I'm going to select the 9 tile and delete it. So then I'm going to go ahead and go to shut the box, and I'm going to roll two more die. Now notice I must choose two since I have the 7 or the 8 still in the game. So I'm going to roll two. I rolled a 4 and a 5. Okay, so that adds up to 9. So what are the different ways that I can add up to 9? I've already removed the 9 tile, so I'm going to have to use one of the other combinations to get me 9. So for example, 8 and 1 give me 9, so I can delete those from the game board. And I'm going to keep rolling until I can't remove tiles anymore. So I'm going to roll 2, and again, I have to choose 2 because I have a 7 still. So when I do that, I get a 5 and a 1. I rolled a 5 and a 1, which gives me 6. So I can either remove the 6 tile, or I can do 4 and 2 gives me 6. Those are really my only options because there's only 1, 3. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the 6 because 5 plus 1 is 6. And I'm going to go ahead and roll again. I have a 3 and a 2. So that gives me 5, so I can either delete the 5 tile or delete the 2 and the 3. This is tricky. I'm going to delete the 5. 
and then I am going to roll. I have a three and a six, that adds up to nine. Can I make nine with a two, three, four, and seven? The only way that I can do that is the seven and the two, and I'm going to roll one die or two dice. What you'll notice is that the seven, eight, and nine are no longer in the box. So I can choose either one. I'm gonna roll one die. I rolled a six. I have no way of getting six out of three and four. So I am done and my score is a seven. So I'm just gonna put that there. So my score is the sum of the dice that are left over. Okay, so now it's player two's turn. Player two, I'm gonna go to shut the box and I'm gonna add a new round and that's gonna allow you to go ahead and play on your computer. So what player two is gonna do is they're also gonna use the shut the box menu. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for player two. They're gonna have to authorize the add-on just like I did and player two is going to roll two dice. All right, so I can see that player two has rolled a two and a four, which is a sum of six. So let's see what they choose. Looks like they're gonna delete the six tile and they're gonna roll again and they will need to roll two dice since the seven, eight, and nine are present. If any one of those are present, so one and six gives them seven. Roll again. Now you're not seeing that pop up because player two is on a different computer. I am sitting here watching player two play. They need to sum to eight, uh, but they are not playing with me side by side. Although certainly you could have two people on the same computer. Five and a two adds up to seven. And so it looks like there's two different options. They could do the three and the four tile. This gives seven or the five and the two tile adds up to seven. Okay. Now the person with the lowest score wins. So I had a score of seven, I think. Is that my score? Yes, I had a score of seven. So we're going to see if player two can do better than that. And so they scored, a, they rolled a three. So we have to remove three points from the tiles. And since there is a nine, they will have to roll two. So six and five is 11, and of course nine plus five is not 11, so they cannot play anymore. And that score is then nine plus five, the tiles left over, so player two has a 14, and I had a seven, and the low score wins, so I win that round. So let's go ahead and do another round. What I'm gonna do is on my page, I'm gonna to go to shut the box and choose clear. Now player two will be able to do that on their own, on their own slide. So I'm gonna clear my round so I'm ready to go and then go to the shut the box menu and choose add pieces. Now player two, they can do this same thing so they can get ready for their turn. Now what you are able to do is you'll notice that I'm using the shut the box menu on my Google Slides and my opponent is using the shut the box menu on their Google Slides, you can do this at the same time. So what it's doing is saying the slide that you're looking at, it'll clear it or roll the dice on that slide. So if they're doing it independently on theirs, it will still work, which means if you're playing with a whole bunch of people, everyone can have their own slide and they can roll their own dice within there and clear and start a new round without affecting anyone else. Okay, let's see how I do in round two. So I'm gonna roll two die. I rolled a three and a six, that adds up to nine. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the nine tile. And I'm gonna roll two more. A five and a four also gives me nine, which I could do with a seven and a two, adds up to nine. And I'm gonna roll two more. A six and a one. Well, since I don't have a seven, I'm gonna, I could, could do the three and the four also. And so I'm gonna roll again, the two, a six and a five. So this has to add up to 11, eight 
and 3 give me 11. And now I have no 7, no 8, no 9 tile. So if I want to, I can choose to roll one die. I rolled a 1. I have no way of getting a 1. So then my score is 9. And I get the 9 again from the sum. I get the 9 from the sum of the remaining tiles. Okay, let's see how player 2 does. I'm going to kick back and watch. They're going to use the shut the box menu to roll 2 die. Okay, 2 plus 1 is 3. Roll again. Six and six is 12. So how do you get 12? You can do nine and three, except the three is already gone. So he's doing eight and four. Three and five adds up to eight. You can get eight with a six and a two or a one and a seven. Let's see what he does. Okay, still has a seven and nine, so has to roll two dice. So a three and a four adds up to seven. That's lucky. Still has the nine tile, so has to roll two dice. So those add up to six. What? Okay, one more. See if you can shut the box. So to shut the box is to get rid of all of the tiles. Six and two is eight, so player two has a score of nine. And I, of course, had a score of nine also, so we have tied. So let's go ahead and clear our boards. I'm going to clear, and I'm going to add my pieces. Okay, let's see. I'm going to roll two. I have a four and a two, which gives me six. Roll two. A one and a five gives me six. I think I'm going to do the four and the two this time. And I'm going to roll two of them. Six and one gives me seven, so I'm going to remove the seven. Roll two. Four and a one is five, roll two, six and three is nine, and I still have to roll two because I still have an eight tile, so I'm going to roll two, it gives me a three and a six is nine, so eight and one is nine, and I'm going to roll one, ah! all right, so my score is three. Let's see how player two does. So I'm going to click on their slide over here on the left so I can watch them play. Two and six, eight. The sum of four and four is also eight. So six and two gives eight. Two and a five is seven. Five plus one is six. Looks like there's only one way to get that. Okay, five and six is 11. All right, so since player two cannot play, we're going to add up those points. Three plus four is seven. Seven plus nine is 16, and I win Again, I'm going to clear my round, or if you want to start a new round, you can choose new round, which puts new pieces at the top ready to go if you wanted to preserve the old rounds.